Hello comic book fans, here's Earl Grey and this is Raymond Martin. A German anarchist from the 70s who has survived until the recent day, a hippie and what not, and um, hands down the most influential comic book publisher in Germany. He did the first German translations of Richard Corbin's comics and he was the editor in chief, uh, chief editor or publisher from the German uh, Pilot, Pilot in German, Pilot, Pilot in French and uh, I guess your mouth is watering if you just read this um, cast of artists that were was um, involved in this publication, even though it was never a commercial success, really. And uh, um, you can almost imagine how difficult it was to pave um, a way for these kind of comics in a comic-wise underdeveloped country, which is Germ which was Germany and unfortunately still is. This is uh, the first um, issue of the German uh, Metall Hurlant, um, Schwermetall. The cash cow of Mr. Martin and his Volksverlag um, was another publication of his. Yes, so there. Oh, the symbol of the Volksverlag. Very simple, but stood for good comics back in the day. Yeah, uh, the third bigger regular um, publication was his U Comics, underground comics. I, I thought, sort of, uh, thought um, that U would stand for Unterhaltung, entertainment comics, in opposition to E comics, um, ernste comics, uh, serious comics, but uh, I was wrong with that. But uh, these comics were all more the light-hearted stuff, not the heavy metal, heavy schwer metal thing. Uh, the Gerald Charlton, Sheridan, um, Rand Holmes, um, and uh, all the other um, contributors from America and France, France as well. Um, it was a colorful mix from Perf comics, funny comics, um, in black and white and color, some photo comics as well. Here's, uh, for instance, uh, Zippy, the Pinhead comic from Bill Griffith from 1977. And um, this is an ad for the anthologies that are the actual topic of my video today, the U Comics Sonderbände uh, special editions. Somehow I have managed to overlook these anthologies for decades. Um, I have to say that uh, the U Comics weren't my favorite. I, I preferred um, Schwermetall and Pilot for several reasons, um, because the mix in uh, U-Comics was a bit too um, hit and miss for me. And so I overlooked these Sonderbände until recently I found um, a couple of them, a handful on the shelf in, uh, in my comic shop in Hamburg. And I got them for dirt cheap, I don't know, maybe five euros each or something like this uh, in, on average. And then I had, uh, then I went uh, rampage, then I went mad and, and had to get them all. Uh, oops, I you see, well, you can see the stacks here. <clears throat> That's what I want to show you right now and real quick, uh, quick as possible. This is <clears throat> the first um, special edition Sonderband with Robert Crump, very fitting. 
Uh, this is the first label UPN. Uh, uh, undef undefinierbare Produkte Nürnberg von Nürnberg. Uh, undefined products from Nürnberg. And uh, so I guess this is maybe uh, even a first edition of uh, Richard Crump. <laughs> Richard, uh, Robert Crump. Um, so maybe. It's even worth some bucks. I got it under cover price, but uh, the cover prices are, of course, in the good old D mark. Here you can see uh, Deutsche Mark. Here you can see. Uh, oh no, this can't be the first edition if there are. Uh, all the special editions until special edition number what 10 and some other stuff from Raymond Martin here he has one of his own photo books and an alternative a magazine of about alternative culture called Peng he published uh, way back then. And uh, he was the guy as well who published uh, the German translations from Timothy, Timothy Leary. All the books are uh, oversized, more European um, album format than American uh, small comic book format. And I think that uh, some <clears throat> Some comics really look good in this way. The German translation is sometimes pretty amateurish and all over the place. This is not the worst example, even though you can see uh, sometimes the words are cut off. It has really the feel of, yeah, amateurish enth enthusiasm which isn't the best, uh, the, the worst thing. The next book, number three, I have even twice. It's Richard Corbin, a uh, special edition with Richard Corbin comics and different uh, print versions. One from UPN and the other is, uh, there's the imprint uh, Volksverlag. One Fred Scheer or Screer. I don't have any knowledge about this guy, but as looks quite okay, and I have to work my way through these books, and maybe the result will be some uh, panologies. This is Dave Sheridan, starring his Leather Nun, the Tales of the Leather Nun. Very interesting serial story. And the rest in this book is quite amazing as well. Even though the German translations sometimes are really a bit hard to swallow. I must say. This is a, an anthology with futuristic or science fiction underground comics. You see in the bit different price list on the back. Um, a book with Vaughn Bodhi comics. And I think because of the whitish paper, this seems to be a, a quite more recent reprint of the stuff here. This is Greg Irons. Really crazy stuff. Uh, this is one Jack Jackson. I've read uh, a bit here and there in these books and, and working my way through several of them at the same time. Can't say too many intelligent things about these very unique stories. So go on with the 
Ah, uh, German artist couple. This is one banner with this authentic uh, German uh, wine belly, as he states himself that uh, this is wine, not beer. And uh, this is his um, girlfriend at the time. Uh, nowadays, I've checked, uh, they are married and uh, in the meantime and still together. Uh, Mali and Werner. Mali and Werner. And these are the original German uh, comic versions, which is neat. Um, so the lettering is the original and no weird translations stand in the way of enjoying these stories. And I've always liked uh, when a couple makes comics together. Uh, this is actually uh, a part which Mali, the woman, uh, drew. Uh, like um, Robert Crump and his wife, these comics that they draw together are amazing. This is uh, Trina Robbins. I think the first woman they say here uh, appears in this uh, series. Oh, maybe not the first one. But she has a very distinct style. And you see, women can too draw naked women. So, this is from a Belgian guy, I think, Ebert Gerards, maybe from a Dutch guy. He has a bit more this classy, cartoony style, but uh, content-wise it's really real underground and dirty and everything you want. Ted Richards is involved in the series as well with a very thick volume and uh, he, to me, he's uh, most and foremost uh, well known because of his 40 year hippie, which is amazing when I think of it that I'm 48 right now and feel still feel like 12 years old. Anyhow, uh, and uh, there's a lot of his army comics from uh, around the guy Dopin Dan and yeah, this is a bit silly and harmless and uh, sometimes a waste of time, sometimes quite amusing. Not the greatest collection of all. In opposition to this one, Guy Colwell. Uh, this is great. This is pretty great. Uh, good shit. Um, deserves a separate panelogy as well. But maybe you should... Uh, simply check out Comic Crack's video about this guy. Um, he's a fan like me of these comics. This is a neat collection of his inner city, Rom Rom inner city romance comics. One of the first uh, editions I've ordered uh, from eBay for lousy, I don't know, six or seven bucks or so. Um, totally worth it. And um, I'm not a um, condition fetishist of all kind, but uh, in any by any stretch, but uh, I truly enjoy if the books if the books are in a good condition, of course, and nearly all of these uh, special editions are quite in a good shape, I must say. And that's fine. So, uh, this is a comic not by one artist, but by many. The cover, of course, is from Richard Corbin. I don't know why he has one dollar. Uh, this book was ten Deutschmarks or so. Um, yeah, yeah, many artists uh, contribute under the theme of bizarre sex or 
Bizarre Sex Bizarre Sex uh, Sex Bizarre However uh, Not the most bizarre uh, Sex comics I, I have to say <laughs> All these stuff This has to be Clay Wilson of course Which uh, comes in a sec No this is Jim Pinkowski Jim Pinkowski <sighs> Never have heard of them of him uh, really with um, mm, with conscious. I, I wasn't conscious of his comics. You see some little Nemo, uh, persiflage satires, and, and, and a bit erotic stuff and, and weird stuff. And if you want to have a good laugh, uh, you can check out. Uh, Pinkowski's uh, internet presence um, and, and the books he published recently because this guy found God. He turned, uh, he became a, reach, uh, a creationist, uh, one who de denies uh, the evolution theory. <laughs> and uh, it's quite pathetic, to be honest, uh, or ridiculous, and but funny in the same time. And whatever floats your boat, if you deny obvious, uh, want to deny obvious facts, do so. But don't teach your children wrong. So this guy, uh, this book here is number 19 with Spain comics, of course. And I'm very pleased to have this one uh, in my collection. I Some uh, stories I had uh, in the Zep version, uh, but... The sad comics uh, were a bit smaller, and his pretty detailed and, and perfect art um, is pretty um, comes pretty good across in this uh, this format. So, yeah. Another penology about Spain should be in the making, I think. So, uh, and here, my absolute favorite, as Clay Wilson. Distorted, disgusting ugliness all over in oversized with a uh, very uh, hilarious um, introduction. Authentic words from the 70s to, of some a desperate guy who tries to make sense of the book, and he had he makes some points here and there. Uh, I, I have to give him that. Um, I have to, and I have to try to make my uh, own interpretations of these the stuff here. Uh, as Clay Wilson is. is really a landmark in the comic book world i think so this is uh worth it the the whole stuff alone uh, this book here so pretty quick the rest of them um rand holmes a perv in his own right and yeah knows no borders as you can Guess by this little glimpse and uh, deserves, uh, yeah, as so many here, uh, another penology. Maybe I do this. This is an anthology with different Australian artists. And ah, Thomas Bunk. Uh, Thomas Bunk, uh, and I can pronounce him by every right in the world in German because he is a German comic artist. Uh, even though he went to America, I guess, to work with Art Spiegelman later on. And you can see uh, his orientation uh, to the American comic world. He definitely learned his Robert Crumb and Art Spiegelman. But he's a unique character and one to for further investigation, panology-wise, as well. So, Rick Geary, a more classic, cartoony kind of guy. Yeah. 
interesting in his own way, I think. And Larry Todd. And ha, Carlos Jimenez or the Jimenez. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> Endless stuff to read. Number 31, Paul Kirchner, amazing artist. I think he's an American, even though uh, his name sounds a bit German. Totally weird Amer um, surreal stories, even though they look at the first glance uh, just like Western stories with weird skull characters and so on, but they are much weirder than they look at the first glance. And uh, he has quite a variety of his drawing styles as well, and maybe his most well-known stuff, maybe not the best, uh, is are the these bus uh, shorties mini comics, which are again quite surreal, but in another way. As well. So, okay, and the last two ones here are from one Bobby London and from Jay Kinney. And this is quite a, an iconic uh, picture. I remember it um, being on some posters you can. Uh, you could buy them in uh, back in the day from the Volksverlag and Raymond Martin. And yeah, all power and praise to him wherever he is. Maybe, <laughs> um, maybe he sees this stuff here and I just can uh, say thank you. Thank you. Vielen Dank. Dankeschön. Uh, my life would be different without you. So. And to all the others, uh, thanks for listening to my long ramble and for watching as well, of course. Goodbye. <laughs>